everybody, this is Shelby with RBD. Today we're going to talk about splices. A splice is a revision to a plan that already has a permit. So if you're not building what's on those plans, you need to submit a splice. This is different than a revision. A revision is what's submitted to a plan that is undergoing review. So big difference there. Who can submit a splice? A splice is submitted by the contractor. A resubmittal, once again for a plan that's undergoing review, that's submitted by the design professional. When you submit a splice, you need to have a cloud to show us what you're changing. So what is a cloud? You can see here, we have two clouds. One indicating everything in the area is changing. Another smaller indicating that just this is changing. Clouds have to be specific just for the changes. So let's show you how to submit one of these. To submit a splice to the contractor dashboard, the first thing you'll wanna do is make sure you're logged into your contractor dashboard. Once you're here, you'll wanna click on Permits. Find the permit that you're wanting to submit the splice for. I'll pick this bottom one, so slide over here to Details and click on that. On the Details page, you'll wanna find the Add Splice button in the upper right. So just find the scissors and click Add Splice. Once you get to this page, you'll want to make sure that all the information is correct here and then click Save Changes. This is really important that you hit Save Changes first because that will then give you the electronic plan number that you see there. But as you can see down below in the status, it's incomplete because you haven't uploaded those images just yet. To do that, scroll down to the bottom. Down here, you'll want to find Add Images and click on that. That'll take you to this next page where you can see the different disciplines and different areas that you can submit splices for. It could be a construction splice, it could be mechanical, electrical, plumbing. For an example, we'll just click on mechanical splice. So once you have the mechanical, slide over to the right and choose file. You'll get a new window that pops up and within that window, select the PDF that contains the revised drawing and then it uploads there. It's important to know that you only want images that are relevant to this specific splice. What you don't want to do is upload an entire plan set that has some changes made to it. The changes should be specific and specific to this splice only. If you have changes that fall under other disciplines, you can upload those under this same splice. It's just important that you put them in the right area. If they're changes to construction, put them in the construction area. If they're changes to electrical or plumbing, you put them in electrical or plumbing. Once you've got all your images uploaded, click on Upload Files. Now, when you get to this screen and scroll to the bottom, you'll see that the mechanical splice is now uploaded under the status area. The last thing you wanna do is click on Submit Plan. This is important, a lot of people forget this. Once you upload the photos, you still have to hit Submit Plan, and when you do that, it'll process, and then you'll see the status. It changes to Submitted, and that's what you want. That's it. That is how you submit a splice through the contractor dashboard.